Number 11, we have the fifth root of negative 32. That means um, negative 2 multiplied 5 times is negative 32. So if you need to, put that in the calculator um, and you get negative 2. All right, now the variables we want to divide. So I'm going to say 10 divided by 5 is a, that divides evenly. Okay. But this is a 1. 1 does not divide by 5, and since it doesn't divide, I'm just going to leave it underneath the radical, and do not forget to keep your index. Okay, number 12, ignore the negative, and we're going to just put it out front. Well, not ignore, but we're going to put it out front, and now we're just going to work with 32. The square root of 32, okay, first of all, let's break 32 down into proms. 16 divided by 2 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. My index is a known 2, so I need groups of 2. So there's a group of 2, there's a group of 2, and there's a 2 that's left. Right there, that 2 should have been in a box. So there's a 2 that's left on the outside, so it goes under the radical. So this becomes 4 square root of 2 because it wasn't grouped. So that becomes 4, and I'm going to have the square root of 2, and I'm putting a little bit of space in between here and here because I haven't worked with the variables yet. Now I need to work with 8, but um, in my variables, 8 divided by 2 is 4, so that's going to be a to the 4th. Okay, now b is 7 divided by 2. Now I'm going to do that one over here. 7 divided by 2. Remember we said this is our outside exponent. This one is our inside exponent for the variable. So it becomes b to the outside is 3. Inside of the radical exponent is a known 1. Number 13, the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, 7. For x to the 7th, I'm going to divide 7 by 2 because that's my known index. My known index is right there. It's a 2. So when I divide it, I'm going to get x to the 3rd. This is my outside exponent. This one's my inside exponent. becomes x to the 1. And then for y to the 9th, I'm going to do the same thing, except for I'm going to divide 9 by 2 with 1 left over. So this is my, for my y value, this is my outside. This is my inside. So it's going to be y to the 4th outside of the radical and y to the 1st in the inside. Alright, now we're going to be working with imaginary units, written i. It's a number whose square is negative 1. We have two properties we're looking at, and it's i squared equals negative 1, or um, we also have the other form of it that's i equals the square root of negative 1. Basically, when you have this, that can be broken down into the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 32. Okay, square root of negative 1 becomes the i. Square root of 32, we break down like we've been doing in the previous lessons. By doing our factors and then taking groups of 2. So that becomes a 2, that becomes a 2, and this one's left, the last one's left under the radical. So it becomes 4 square root of 2. So this becomes 4 square root of 2. To combine those, I'm just going to get 4i square root of 2. Let me rewrite that. 4i square root of 2. Alright, number 15, this negative sign stays out front. Okay, now this can be written as square root of negative 1 
times square root of 36. Well, the square root of negative 1 is your i. Square root of 36 is 6. So if I put them all in order, that would be my negative, and I like to put the number before the i. Negative 6i. Okay. Number 16, if I leave this 4 out front, okay, and then I'm going to take this and say it's the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 20. The square root of negative 1 becomes i. And the square root of 20, let's break it down. Alright, and because my index is a 2, I mean groups of 2, so that becomes 2 square root of 5. So this is 2 square root of 5. Multiplying these two together, I have 2 i square root of 5, and then I have this 4 that was sitting out front. So I'll multiply those, and I'm going to say 4 times 2 is 8 i, and then you have square root of 5. And then uh, number 17. I want to break this apart. That's going to be square root of a negative 1 times the square root of 63. Let's break 63 down. It doesn't divide by 2, but it divides by 3. And it goes 21 times. 21 divides by 3. 7 times. And since it's the index of square root of 63 is a 2, I want groups of 2. So that becomes 3 square root of 7. That becomes 3 square root of 7, and this becomes i, so when I multiply those together, I just get 3i square root of 7.